My name is Claire, and I'm here with Andy and Jill Erbach, who are cast members of Mamma Mia. I'm so excited to talk to you guys today. How are you? Good, Good morning. Thank you. Awesome. And would you like to introduce yourselves, talk about your role in the show, and also talk about how you first got involved with San Juan Community Theater? I'm Jill Erbach, and I play Donna in Mamma Mia. And um, let's see, we moved here in 2004. Four. A couple years after we moved here, I was like itching to do theater again because that was my background. They were auditioning for one of the Playwrights Festivals. And so I said, okay, I'll show up. And that was the start. Awesome. Do you remember what year that was? Probably 2006. Wow. So you've been doing theater here for quite a while. Then. Quite a while. Yeah. How did you first become involved in theater in general? I did a play in high school, senior year, where I had literally one word one line, one word. It was Pippin. It was, it was in oh, Pippin. It. And then when I went to college, started kind of dabbling there, even though it wasn't my major. Ended up by senior year uh, doing Pippin again. This time I was the leading player, which was fun. By senior year, despite being a uh, pre-law major, I discovered that theater was the only thing I was going to graduate in four <laughs> years in. Uh, so, <laughs> so uh, we both are theater majors. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Me as well. <laughs> I've loved performing like ever since I was little, like, you know, starting with, you know, the shows for your dolls and teddy bears and stuff. <laughs> so I think that's just always been a part of what brought me joy. When I was eight, we moved to California. I got, started getting involved in like doing background work and then commercials and that kind of stuff just because it's what you do <laughs> if you like it and you can get into it. Same thing actually in college, although I enjoyed acting, I was like, well, I don't need a degree for that. I'll get a degree in something more practical. But when theater is what you do and those are all the classes you take, that ends up being what you yep. get your degree in. I have been there, so I, I totally understand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, it's so cool to hear about your guys' journey, and I'm so glad that you've ended up here at San Juan Community Theater, and I'm Thanks. so excited to see you all in Mamma Mia. Um, and since you're both actors, how does that dynamic work as a couple? Do you help each other rehearse or critique each other's monologues before auditions, anything like that? Uh, I would say before auditions is probably the most we'll give some tips carefully, right? Because, <laughs> you know, you don't want to step on each other's creative toes. I think when you're both actors, you respect each other's process. And so, you know, he's got his thing that he does. I've got mine. And so I don't assume that I know any better than him because, you know, he's here and he knows what he's doing. But we also know because we respect each other and each other's talent, we know that that's the first person we can go to for suggestions or to run something by somebody, you know. Did you help so. each other with your audition for Mamma Mia? Yeah, actually. I'm trying to so think. long ago, because <laughs> yeah. it was two years ago. Going back to um, how Mamma Mia has been pushed back multiple times due to COVID-19, what does it mean to the two of you to be performing live on a stage again in front of a live audience here in the indoor theater, the Whittier Theater? Are you excited? Nervous? What's it like to return? I think originally there were some mixed emotions. Um, you know, the, the excitement of doing a show again, um, but yeah, with a lot of unknowns, both personally and, and like community wise, uh, are people going to feel comfortable coming back out to the show? Um, but on the personal level, <clears throat> once we started rehearsals again, you know, it all kind of goes out the window and it's like, yep, rehearsal, here we go. You know, and, and it, it seems very normal, which we weren't sure, at least I wasn't sure if that was going to be the case. Yeah. I debated how how honest to be with this answer, um, <laughs> because to be, I am a homebody and I am good like being on my own or like at home. I don't know the, the pandemic in that sense. I think wasn't that hard for me. I was fortunate in that way. I found myself when it, one not feeling like I could count on this because it's happening. No, it's not. It's going to happen. Yeah. There's the delta. You know all that stuff, and I found myself going. Maybe I'm done acting. You know, I'm I, I I'm okay if the show doesn't happen. And now that I'm back in rehearsal, I think what it's doing is reminding me that I love to do this, and I and it's reconnecting me with people that I think the pandemic just kind of, you know, everything's kind of muffled now, and everything's through a filter in a way as far as your emotions and your your passions and your how excited you get about things. And so it's forcing me to sort of like break through that and go, oh yeah this is fun and I'm reconnecting with people. People are good, you know, so it's a good thing. 
That's so great. Yeah. I have also have felt the, you know, kind of lull of, you know, no theater or no traditional theater for the past two years now yeah. and kind of going, what am I, you know, ready to go back and then getting back and being like, wow, this is, this is great. Once yeah. you're in the space and you are with the people again and in the rehearsal process, it's completely different. Even sitting here, you know, you, I, when I walked in the lobby, I've been in the box office area, you know, the, no, I've been in the lobby, haven't been in the theater. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, it was kind of like going home. Like I went to go get a cup and I know exactly where to go to go get a cup because, oh yeah, I've done the concessions and, you know, but it's, it's, it's like coming home in a way and you forget that there's just this, even just walking into the actual theater part in the house, there's just this energy that's just here that's just waiting for us to come back, you know, so. Yes, I love that, I love that. Um, and why do you think Mamma Mia is an important show for us to do right now and for audiences to see? Well, okay, so <laughs> I actually think that, you know, back in 2019 when it was chosen and 2020 when it was cast and we started, we had no idea there was gonna be a, a pandemic. But I'm a person of faith and God knew. And I think, I, I just think that there's a reason that it's Mamma Mia. Like, like some people might be like, yeah, Mamma Mia, but God was like, you have no idea. 2019, you're gonna wanna show, or, or 2021, you're gonna wanna show that, you know, people just leave singing you know, that yeah. people just feel good about. Maybe it reminds them of a time that was happy and joyful. And then there's the themes of like friendship and second chances and, you know, um, carpe diem. There's a reason but, it wasn't Mother Courage. Or, <laughs> right, or, right, or Les Mis or something, yeah. you know. So I think it's the perfect Upbeat, show. happy. Yeah. Leave yeah. audiences smiling. People mm -hmm. will definitely leave singing the songs and humming the tunes. Yeah, whether they want to or not. True, Yeah. very true. And just for fun, other than the characters you two are playing, who are your favorite characters in the show of Mamma Mia? I like Tanya. Yeah, I mean, she's everyone hilarious. loves Tanya. She's <laughs> fun. She's funny. She doesn't live in the past. She doesn't, you know, sit there, like, bemoaning bad choices she may have made. She just has no regrets. She's just like, next, you know? <laughs> True, yeah. yeah. What about you? I don't know. Um... I love Don. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let that pass since it's not technically your character, but okay. <laughs> and what about what number in the show are you most looking forward to performing? I know rehearsals have barely just begun, but... Performing or watching? How about both? Because uh, I... One of the great things about her doing shows and me not is I love watching her on stage. Because um, <laughs> she's so good. Um, and the... Even last night in rehearsal, she didn't even sing the song. They just got to the scene <laughs> where she's uh, getting Sophie ready uh, for the wedding, and she's going to sing that song. Um, and our younger daughter is in France. We just sent her off a week ago. For the year. For the year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, so I know that you know, there's all these emotions that are going to be in that song, and uh, even without her singing it, you know, you start getting choked up and like, okay, so it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, I am not looking forward to performing that song <laughs> because I can't even rehearse it. I can't sit in the car and like practice it without like starting to cry. I'm sure by the time the show happens, I'll be in character and I'll because you want to feel the song, but as an actress, you need to be able to like Stop. not actually cry <laughs> so that you can finish performing it. And I can't yet. That's the slipping through my finger song. The winner takes it all. It's such a great song to mm -hmm. sing, and I'm look. I always like to stand on stage and just ah. So that'll be fun. And then the dancing. Any any of the dancing queen and Spandex. Waterloo. I mean, what? Yeah. What could go wrong? Ooh, can't wait to wear spandex. <laughs> oh, I did not know, but I'm, I'm so excited to see that. Now I've been, you've got Mamma Mia opens on November 5th and runs to November 21st. And for more information and to purchase tickets, you can visit our website. The link will be in the description of this video. Thank you so much for being here again. Thanks for having pleasure. us. Thanks. <laughs>